Morning, everyone. So, yeah, as Tony said, my name is Ben. So, similar to Tony, I, I've got the experience of gambling as well. So, I actually started when I was in university. I didn't know what was going on at the time, but I had a real lack of motivation. I, it's supposed to be this time of your life where you go, and, you know, you go to a party and you meet all these new people, you make friends for life. I didn't do any of that. I didn't really know what was going on. And I think looking back, I was probably suffering from depression. Um, and, and, you know, I, I can recognise that now. But at the time, I didn't. Um, so what I did is I turned, I started gambling um, just to pass the time, to make a little bit of money. Uh, and pretty quickly, I was already finding myself in a, in a hole. You know, I was only living off 40, 50 pounds a week at uni and I was spending, you know, 30 pounds of that gambling. So, you know, pretty quickly it was taking over my life. As I graduated and I got into work, um, I just never stopped. It just got, as I got more money, I started to gamble more. Um, I started to gamble my, my rent money, money for bills, money that should be spent on my kids. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about some of the other things I did later on um, because, um, because, yeah, things got pretty, pretty dark for me. But like I say, I'm four years in recovery now. I just want to start by looking at gambling and, and what do we think about when we hear the gambling. So anyone want to throw out what a definition of gambling is? What's, what do you think that definition of gambling might be? A little bit. Um, you're trying to take a chance or something. Yeah, it's a chance because you're not, you're not going to win. Well, potentially 50% of the time you're not going to win. Or even, it's even with the percentages you're going to hold that. You probably yeah. find the chance of winning a line 5% to, uh, to losing a 5% win. I think you're right there in terms of, you know, everyone will have their wins. Every gamble will have a win from time yeah. to time. But long term, it will destroy it. Yeah. Mm. No, so, yeah, it's a really good answer. And actually, the, the definition we use is risking money or something of value on a bet. Uh, and there's always risk or reward. So yeah, uh, traditionally it would be it would be a bet. So you know, we're basing a bet on something. Uh, but it doesn't have to be money. It could be something of value. So that could be the extreme of someone putting in car keys or house keys into a, a pot of poker. Um, or it could be at the other end of the scale, it could be someone at school betting their, um, their lunch money or even part of their lunch on, on a game of FIFA or something like that. So the, the scale might vary massively, but the common theme is you're always risking something to get something back. Um, you might hear a gambler tell you about death certs, which is something that's guaranteed to win. That doesn't ever happen. There's only one, one time when something is guaranteed to win, and that's if you're betting on money like it's in Liverpool, that is guaranteed every other time. And there's an absolute level. Don't be upset with that. I'm actually going to see it when they play against Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's the only time where you're guaranteed to, to, to win. But every other time, there's always risk and reward. Um, 